We are starting the unit on trigonometry, and this is all about triangle relationships. That's, that's the main idea of this chapter. Uh, we will learn how to graph sine and cosine later on. So, um, what I have, I have this vocab section, but I'm going to be giving definitions as we go through. So, I want to just head straight in to the number one for us. So, here's what it says I've got this triangle. One of the triangles, the larger triangle, is six and eight and ten. Those are my three sides. My smaller triangle is three, four, and five. These are similar. The one line means similar. When it has the equal sign underneath it, that means congruent, right? Do you remember that from geometry? Similar means what? What's There's a difference between similar and congruent. So what does similar mean versus congruent? I need a volunteer. Yes. Their sides are proportionate. Yeah, the sides are proportionate. The angles are the same. So I can make a triangle that's huge and it still could have a 73 degree angle in it, okay? It's just that my side lengths would change. So write as many ratios as you can using two of the side lengths from ABC. So I want you to write a fraction, that's what a ratio is, using two numbers of only this first triangle ABC. So go ahead, spend 30 seconds. It's all the time I can give you. So you're writing fractional ratios that compare two sides. So you could go like, oh, eight over 10. That's one example of something that you could write right now. I want all fractions, as many as you can think of. All right, uh, can you please yell out some fractions that you got? <coughs> Keep going. Okay, new people. Got eight over 10. 10 over eight, six over eight. So I got six tenths. 10 over six. Notice how, please, since I said, you know, in all math, you need to reduce fractions whenever possible. This is going to become four fifths. Six tenths becomes three fifths. Oh, I'm not doing all the reciprocals. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, I could. This is just some of them, right? Eight over six could become four over three. Ten over eight is five over four. Six eighths becomes three fourths. Ten sixths becomes five thirds. So basically, I have um, the value and then I reduce it. Okay, now in DEF, I'm going to get, like in DEF, couldn't I do four over five as a ratio of side lengths? Because look at these triangles are similar. So four fifths would also be one. Three fifths would also be one. I'm actually going to write the exact same values because comparing these triangles, their side lengths are going to be proportional and the triangles themselves are similar. So anyways, you get the point. So I wrote 
in similar triangles, the ratios of the side lengths is going to be the same. If the triangles are similar, that means I can reduce the fractions to be equal to the other triangles. Okay, so seem pretty fine. I now have Sokotoa. Okay. <laughs> I want to let you know that I'm going to pick. Oh, you know what we need to talk about, friends. This symbol here. So it can be written many ways. It's like some people do like the curve up top. Some people do the curve in the middle. This symbol is called theta. Theta is a... Um, I'll say a sample angle. I don't know the measurement exactly, but I'm using theta as like an X, an unknown. So it's like, oh, this, this angle, I don't know how big it is, but let's call it theta. So the word theta means I don't know how big it is yet, but I'm trying, I'm going to try and find out. So theta is like our, um, unknown value. We have an angle, though, angle of an angle. So I'm going to label this upper angle. I'm going to call that theta. That's my unknown. I don't know how big it is. That means that this is my adjacent side to theta. This is my opposite side to theta. And this one is my hypotenuse. To theta. So I wrote all this on the board, right? And it's there and it'll stay there for a couple days until I need to start doing some unit circle information. But sign, if I write, can I abbreviate opposite over height? Eventually, I'm just going to write O over H. So it's reciprocal. You just flip it. Hypotenuse over opposite. Remember, this is called cosecant. And this is sine. S-I-N-E. Cosine, I'm going to write my little Sokotoa thing here, you know, my little fractions that I like. You need to memorize it, like you must. I'm going to give you a pop quiz on this, where I'm going to give you a blank triangle, and I'm going to say, hey, what's sine of angle C? And you've got to write down a fraction answer. Okay. So you need to memorize the to it. You need to memorize the fact that sign has a reciprocal and that word is cosecant. And it just means the values flipped. Cosine is adjacent ADJ. Adjacent ADJ over hypotenuse. Cosine. Secant. Hypotenuse over adjacent ADJ. Tangent is opposite, OPP, over adjacent. Cotangent I also wrote in secant, adjacent over opposite. I'm just reciprocaling tangent. Same thing that's on the board. All right, I'm moving on. Now I'm going to give you values for sides, like numbers to plug in. So on this next page, yeah, we can totally get this page done. So now here's what I want you to do. It says, Find all the six trig ratios of angle theta. Angle theta is labeled as the lower corner. 
I'm not going to label this ABC. So I first feel that some of you might really need to write on the top of your paper, S is O divided by H. C, cosine, is adjacent divided by H. Tangent, T, is O over adjacent. So six trig ratios are the six words that are up there on the whiteboard. And those are S I N theta. Get, get in practice of drawing this little symbol. Cosine of theta. Tangent of theta. Reciprocal of sine is cosecant. C S C of theta. Reciprocal of cosine is secant. Reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So here's what I'm wanting from you. I want fractions of the angle that we're focusing on. This is the angle we're focusing on. So you need to, for cosine, look at the opposite side. The opposite side is 6 over the hypotenuse. 6 is the numerator, 10 is the denominator. 6 over 10. So you're going to write 6 over 10, which, you know, is also 3 fifths. So I'm going to write 6 10 equals 3 fifths. Cosecant should be easy. What's the reciprocal of 3 fifths? 10 over 6. 5 over 3. Cosine, ka, adjacent over hypotenuse, ah, a, h, adjacent to this angle theta. So look at the side next to it. Oh, it's not labeled, huh? What is the missing side? It, how did you find, how did you know it was eight? Yeah, so if I didn't know, I could go six squared plus x squared equals 10 squared and solve for the missing side. But these three numbers up here, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, these are Pythagorean triples, which means those are the three numbers that work out perfectly in the Pythagorean theorem. No decimal answers. It's great. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 8. Hypotenuse is 10. 8 over 10, 4 fifths, right? Reciprocal it. Reciprocal it. Five fourths. Tangent. Tell me what tangent is. Opposite over adjacent. Opposite this angle theta is six. Adjacent is eight. Six over eight. <clears throat> Three fourths. Cotangent. Reciprocal. 8 over 6, 4 thirds, okay? I'm going to skip ang, um, example 2 because it's exactly the same as example 1. Got to find the missing side. And then you're just writing fraction answers. Example 3. <clears throat> Okay, given, so I don't even have a triangle. I'm going to draw my own triangle, by the way. <coughs> given secant of theta, so that means secant, the hypotenuse is going to be 13, and the adjacent side is going to be 5. 13 over 5. Adjacent, I'm going to write the word ADJ next to 13. I'm going to write... <clears throat> I'm sorry, hypotenuse over, sorry, hypotenuse is on the, adjacent is on the bottom. I actually need to draw this triangle. So, just draw a normal right triangle. It really doesn't matter where you put theta. You may not put theta in the 90 degrees, but you have two other options. 
<clears throat> how about in the lower right, just so we change it up? Put the little theta symbol in the lower right corner. And here's what I'm telling you. I am telling you that the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13. Can you please label the hypotenuse 13? Because it says 13 is the hypotenuse. And then 5 is adjacent. So where should I put the 5? On the bottom or on the left side? Bottom, 5. What's the missing side? Look at your Pythagorean triples up above. What's the missing side? 12. Okay, ready? Find the remaining trig ratios. Here we go. I only have time. Let's see. I can divide it like that. Ready? Sine of theta. Cosine of theta. Tangent of theta. I'll do those first. Okay. The only numbers I can use right now are a 5, a 12, or a 13. And I have to look at angle theta, which is this lower angle. Okay. So, but I love the helping, but I just can't. Sine of theta, opposite 12 over hypotenuse, 13. 12 over 13. Cosine of this angle right here, adjacent over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. Tangent, opposite over adjacent of this angle here. Opposite is 12, adjacent is 5. 12 is the numerator, 5 is the denominator. Anybody have any questions on how to do this part? You're just looking at the triangle and writing down a fraction. What's the number that's opposite? What number is adjacent? What number is the hypotenuse? The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. CSC theta, I say. SEC, secant, is the reciprocal of that one. Question. Adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 5. Are you looking now? The adjacent side is 5. The hypotenuse is 13. 5 over 13. That's it. Cotangent. So you're just reciprocaling these values. 13 over 12. 13 over 5. 5 over 12. Is this easy, medium, hard? What do you guys think? Easy? Do you remember from last year? Yeah. Okay, good. Can you do, if tangent, let's draw the triangle, but then you need to do the remaining trig values. The, I think it's best, oh, the triangle, sorry. The triangle's already drawn, but we're going to use the same one. Tangent, though, is going to be my... Oh, I can't use the same triangle. There's different values. 8, 15. What's the Pythagorean triple for this? I'll put the theta up above now. You have to be used to the theta being anywhere. Opposite over adjacent. 8 would be here. Adjacent would be here. The Pythagorean triple up above says my hypotenuse is 17. If I didn't know... I would do Pythagorean theorem to find the 17. Now, your job is to go through and write the remaining sine, cosine, cosecant, secant, cotangent. And check with someone near you.
All right, I'm writing them in. Oh, you can't see, sorry. How does it look? Okay. Here we go. I'm doing example four. Uh, maybe five. We'll see. A ladder is leaning against a wall. So here's my ladder. Makes an angle of 74 degrees with the ground. Here's my 74 degrees. It has to be a right triangle. That's all. It has to be right triangles. If the foot of the ladder is six and a half feet from the wall, please label this 6.5. How high on the wall is the ladder? X is going to be the height. Okay. Um, what is the sum of the angles of a triangle? 180. Can you do the math and tell me the missing side? The first step, find any missing information. What is the missing side? 90, 74, and wood. <coughs> 16? All right, please label it 16. Here's what's going to happen. I know this angle 74. So if I know this side and I know <coughs> this side, that's all I was given. Okay. Yeah. This is the angle I, I was told. Am I, do I know the adjacent and the hypotenuse? Cosine. Do I know the opposite and the hypotenuse? Sine. Or do I know the opposite and the adjacent? Tangent. What do I know? What was told to me? Tangent. I was told the opposite over adjacent, right? I know that I'm not told how big it is. It's an X. But those are what are given to me. I now need to use what I was given. Tangent. Opposite over adjacent. I have to use the tangent function to figure out X. Because the only thing that I know is an opposite side and an adjacent side. So I'm going to write an equation that says tangent. Now, what's the thing that comes right after the word tan or sine or cosine? What did I say at the beginning of the period? An angle measurement. So I'm not going to use ABC. I'm actually going to use the 74. Right after the word sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent, has to go an angle measurement. I know it. It's 74. So I'm going to say tangent of 74 equals opposite over adjacent. O A. What value is O? What value is opposite? X. What value is adjacent? 6.5. This is the formula that I am solving. And I know you did this in geometry, but I don't know if you remember it. So solve for X. Multiply both sides by 6.5. Hold on, hold on. This is what I want in your calculator. You can enter it perfectly. If you're using your cell phone, you need to enter tangent 6.5. I'm sorry, you need to enter tangent 74 first if you're using a cell phone or some random, okay? Six and a half times tangent of 74. And I'm going to close my parentheses because I'm all about like order and... So I'm now finding out the size of the angle. Wait, where am I finding? Nope, I am finding how high it is against the wall. It is 22.6. Seven. Let's round to the nearest ten. Twenty-two point seven feet high on the wall. X. Ah. Twenty-two point seven 
22.7 feet. Oh, that looks bad. Okay, 22.7 feet high. 22.7 feet high. So I had to use what I was given. That meant opposite over adjacent. That means tangent, okay? I'm gonna give you example five because we just don't have time. And for those of you watching on the video, you can press pause after I write the equation and you can solve it on your calculator. Here we go. The triangle looks like this. This is a fire started. Oh, okay. Fire started can say eight miles from the base. There's eight. Angle of elevation is 14 degrees. How high is the top of the mountain? I know this. How high is the mountain? X. Oh, this is another tangent. Boring. Tangent of 14 equals X over 8. That's what you would do to solve that one. Um, let me see if there's... Here's the last one. The angle of elevation from the bottom of a slide to the top of a slide is 44 degrees. Mr. Choi, can you grab the papers that are the white papers? It's 44 degrees. If the top of the slide sits 16 feet above the ground, find the length of the slide. Yay, something different. Sorry. Um, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine, sine, sine, 44, go fast, yeah, very fast, 16 over x, so that's how you do it. All right, so I'm stopping the video.